What drew me to Donald Trump is he's a businessman, a self-made billionaire. He did not get more votes than any president ever lived. I have been out campaigning for him. I love him. Well, you don't have permission to smack people. I don't care. She don't have permission to record me. What is up with white women when it comes to Donald Trump? I am not a terrorist. Yes, his father gave him a million dollars but he turned it into billions. I'm not a sex slave that wears masks. Him and Melania, I was, I was in tears. He's wonderful. I am not into sadomasochism and bondage. They just can't get enough of him, but especially his sad, sad lies to cover up his failures. Because it turns out that white women without a college degree are the only non-political subgroup, like a slicing of the demographics, that believes his lies about the 2020 election. And I wanna try to figure out why. First, we're gonna break down how different groups come at this question. So every age group, every race and gender category, every geographic or income level responded by resounding majorities that quote, Biden legitimately won the election. White women without a college degree though, by a 53 to 47% majority say that Biden did not legitimately win it. So if you compare them, to white women with a college degree, they're, they support reality 70 to 30%. Even white men without a degree eked out a 51, 49% majority. Now it's pretty close. It is possible that that could be you know, sort of natural you know, variation, that sort of things. But I would have expected the white men without a college degree to be the most like just believing any lie that Trump said. Are you surprised by this? 53 to 47% of white women and then 51 to 49%. So fewer white men without a college degree said that Biden lost. No, no. So uh, white women without a college degree, 53% said that Biden didn't win. Got 51% it. of white men said that he did win. It's a, it's the reverse of the, the answer. It's still close, Okay. it's a few points off, but the women are actually more supportive of the big lie. Well, right, that's how they hang on to their hubbies. Um, but I I don't know. I mean, look, I I think that Republican women have a reckoning. They really have a they need to do a lot of reckoning. They need to do, they're gonna have a moment. I've been to a few sort of as in a journalistic capacity, like uh, Republican um, gatherings at like the California Republican Party, and there were women there and uh, you know, th- I had a young women who were like, I believe in pay equity, I believe in reproductive rights. And I'm like, bless your little heart, I wish your party did. Um, and then I had older women straight up look me in the eye and be like, I just think we need a big strong man. Oh my God. And I was just like, wow, you must really throw your weight around the house, huh, ma'am? Like it just, <laughs> it is very sad that, um, that this exists, and, and and I think there is a weird nexus of entitlement and also patriarchy that has fallen on white women specifically that make them kind of tools for a certain amount of status quo um, mm-hmm. as both beneficiaries, but also as those who suffer patriarchy. And they feel like they have to be these custodians of white male supremacy um, in order to get anything in this world, and that is not how Equality mm-hmm. works. That is not how anything works. Um, but it's deep. It's deep, John.